Hello, you guys, and welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I am Whitney D. Let's get into this, shall we? It's just my view. Okay. <laughs> I digress. That's why all my takes, like, I really try to just go by myself. And I could, I, I could have songs. I'm in the studio with all, everybody. Yeah. And I, and like, I got, like, contacts on the song with But like, that's why all my takes, like, I really try to just go by myself. And I could, I, I could have songs. I'm in the studio with all, everybody. Yeah. And I, and like, I got, like, contacts on the song with But like, that's why all my takes. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I wanted to start this uh, show with that clip because I wanted you to um, see in regards to what this whole video was going to be about. And as you see, uh, some of Little Baby's fans and supporters are concerned. And I, looking at the video, totally understand why. Um, I, I'm kind of rather speechless. And it's sad to say to see this uh, young guy in such a predicament. He's clearly under influence of something. And looking through his pictures and things like that, seeing that uh, double cup, it's safe to say that he's on some sort of um, coating, which is lean in, in the South. And it's very unfortunate and sad because um, that's one demon or one solution in itself but then when you concoct stuff along with it and it's clear to see that that is, that is um what is going on because in a uh past video i covered with uh sky's son des he was clearly on lean and what lean does is it's um it's sl uh, slow down your word that's why they call it lean it has you lean and it has you slow motion and that's where chopped and screwed came from you know the whole experience of being on lean you know and so for him to be kind of up and down like that he was on some mo some mo 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 stuff you know and it's so sad because when you get in a situation where you become um um a celebrity you're introduced to so much things okay you get to take your pick on a lot of things and things are just basically handed to you given to you um and in this situation i think it's no different looking further back into his images and pictures um you just kind of see him um, acting a certain way his demeanor is different so I don't know if this one was an adage of, you know, exhaustion on top of the drugs, on top of the lean. But it's clear and safe to say that this little guy was on some stuff. And I say little guy because I'm well in my 30s. And this generation of uh, artists that are coming out are uh, early 20s. So he's a little guy to me. Um, and it's just sad to see this. And there was a lot of uh, rappers. Even Pimp C uh, had a demise because of lean. And it's like you're supposed to learn from your past or learn from your your ancestors or your history. And I mean, I, I can actually say with that being said, too, that this generation doesn't have respect for their elders, be it celebrities or not. You have some artists that, you know, talking about Tupac and all these other um, uh, individuals that paved the way. You know, and I understand it's one thing to be cocky and stuff like that, but then it's one thing to be playing out disrespectful. And I myself um, am a person that learns from past uh, experiences through others. Shoot, if I see something coming down the line, baby, I'm not going to go down there, you know. And so I just, I'm just so... <sighs> hurt to see this guy leaning and shaking and, and twerking and stuff and jetting and jiving the way he was and it's just so sad that all these people around him aren't saying anything but then again it's kind of like how can you say anything to a celebrity you know but that's when your real corner people your real people that got your back that love you step in and say bro like look at this you know um look at how you looking out here in these streets
And I don't know when this whole phase came in that being a druggie or getting into drugs and stuff like that is cool. That is dope because even back in my days in the 90s, you know, drugs wasn't something that was just like glamorized like it is now. It's like, you know, it's the thing to be on all these Percocets and drugs and stuff like that. And it's like, <laughs> you're killing yourself you know, and you're hurting yourself, you know, and it's just sad to see this guy acting like that. <laughs> it's not funny. It's very disturbing, you know, and this is what we're allowing our children, well, not mine, but this is what we're allowing our children to be exposed to the influential, if you will, you know, and it's just sad. I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. While you're there, please take out the time to like, share, and subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so very much. If you are thinking about it, go and click that subscription and stop playing with yourself. Join his family. <laughs> or not. I, I love who I have in the mix now. You guys are dealing with my kookiness, my smacks, my stutters. My woes, my cross eyed, and everything. So I appreciate you guys that are that have committed and said they're going to stand the test of time. I'm going to give you laughs, gags, and advice. Okay, so if there's something that you would like to hear from time to time, click that subscription, um, that subscribe button, and do not forget to click that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Thank you so very much. This has been Reviews with Whitney D. And I'm Whitney D. Signing off. Deuces. I digress. Signing off. Deuces.